Between the excitement is everything I Mitch and says Mitch reviews. Everything and today I will be doing another beer review. I will be reviewing Sagatak Breweries Neapolitan Milk Stout. So that is a bit of a mouthful there. Um, look at that bottle. Pink label. Very, very interesting. Um, several things to go over with this. Um, again, this is Sagatuck uh, Brewery's uh, Neapolitan Milk Stout. Um, this is made in Michigan. Uh, it's out of Sagatuck, Michigan, slash Douglas, Michigan. I'm not familiar with that area, um, so those two cities must be pretty close. Uh, the alcohol content is in this is 6%. Pretty standard for a stout. Um, this is a 12 fluid ounce bottle, um, and they do have a package date, so that's nice. This was only packaged uh, two months ago, so that's good. Um, I bought this in a variety, not a variety six pack, I went to a six pack slash restaurant shop and I just bought a bunch of beer, uh, if anybody had watched uh, one of my previous beer reviews. And I just picked one of these up. I've never had anything from this company. Um, and the label is pretty crazy. As well as the flavor of this milk stout. Um, Neapolitan milk stout. I've never had a beer in all these years. That was a uh, ice cream variety or flavored beer. So it should be very... Very interesting. I'll be putting this in a uh, glass here, pint glass. Which well, that's pouring pretty dark. Pretty dark. Has the color of a Pepsi or something there. That's black. Black. I can. I can't see through this at all. Well. Maybe a slight reddish tint. If you could, if we could hold that up to the light. Uh, but it is just black, just nice and dark. Um, stouts and porters are actually uh, just a personal. These are one of my favorite uh, varieties or uh, types of beer. So I'm very, very excited about this. I can smell this already. And whoo. Uh, <laughs> wow, everybody. Um, that smells like it's supposed to. It's supposed to be Neapolitan ice cream, which is when you get a ice cream thing and it has vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, as you can see on the label there. Um, wow, it smells just like that. It smells sweet. I'm getting maybe like the the it says here on the bottle stout with natural flavors brewed and bottled but of course Saga Tuck Brewing Company um so it is brewed with natural flavors well, I guess vanilla um and strawberry and chocolate maybe I guess but we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. But yeah, I'm just, I'm smelling, it smells like the ice cream with like a stout flavor. In fact, before I drink this, it smells exactly like I had a Guinness milkshake once. It smells like, it almost smells like that Guinness milkshake I had once where it was like the beer with the in, with ice cream thrown in. Which, you know, cheers, uh, they should do that if they don't. But I'm just going to go ahead and taste this and we'll go over a couple other things. Wow. Ah. Well, I checked on uh, Sagatuck Brewery Brewery's website. This is available year round. That's good. That's really good. That it's available year round because boy, is this tasty beer. This is a dessert beer at a hundred. Wow, I mean, 
Ooh, you, uh, wow. Like I said, it, it, it's just, I guess I'll go over the flavor notes. I can't help it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm very, very surprised at how good this was. I didn't know what to expect because it is an odd beer. This is a very, very odd beer. I mean, it's a milk stout, but it's Neapolitan ice cream flavored. So let me give this another try. It is bitter right up front. It does have that burnt flavor, you know, that you get with a uh, with a stout. Um, but I can taste the chocolate, and I can taste. I I can taste. It tastes like the ice cream. It's hard to describe, but if you can imagine Neapolitan ice cream that has had been infused with a stout, excuse me, that's what this tastes like. It has vanilla, chocolate, strawberry notes with a bitter, with a bitter taste, which it's bitter up front. Of course, stouts and porters, of course, you know, are a little bit bitter. Some very bitter, um, but this is like bitter up front, you know, and then bitter on the end. Um, wow, I really do like this, um, and it tastes as advertised, but this is a good beer, um, you know, like I said, it's available year-round, so I'll get to talk brewery, they're also like a brew pub, they have a, of course, where they brew it, so I'll get to talk Michigan, they have a restaurant up there, uh, you can go and get all their fine beers, I guess, on tap and everything. Of course, I've never been to that part of Michigan. Um, so, I don't know. I've only been to Detroit and Ann Arbor. Um, but, you know, if I'm ever up that way on the Great Lakes up there, boy, I, I would definitely will be uh, maybe hopefully stopping by. I don't know what their menu's like, but I definitely am definitely going to be trying a few other their their beer varieties. They have a lot of different varieties of beer. I wish I could think of some of the other ones I saw, including another one I saw on the shelf, which I wish I would have bought now that I've had this. And uh, this is a really good beer. Like I said, bitter up front. It is bitter up front, but man, your tongue gets hit with that wave of like, why does this taste like ice cream? If you like that, if you like sweet and bitter and a bitter milk stout, you know, then, um, you know, you're going to like this. The alcohol content, again, 6%. Wow, so I'll go talk brewery. Uh, cheers. I definitely will be trying more of your beer. Um, so cheers to you guys. And I'll give this one more sip. <sighs> that is tasty. Wow, that's that's pretty much all I have to say for you guys. Other than make it, it taste as described, I recommend it for anybody who likes milk stout. If you don't like stouts, probably not gonna like this. Or if you do like stouts, you might be turned off by the flavor. But me, I do like sweet stuff, so I like it. But I think you should try it anyway, even if you don't think you're gonna like it because it could be the best milk stout you ever had. Is this the best milk stout I've ever had? No, um, it is not, but it is good. And it is up there, it's very, very memorable because it's such a weird beer, which, you know, great for them with their marketing, I guess. So anyways, cheers, this has been Mitch Reviews Everything. I will see you again.